The very fact that Greg is still doing this after 30 years has made me pretty proud. I mean, my goal was to make young Albany bands known, and pay them a decent amount of money, and treat them with respect. He stayed with it for years and years. That's the biggest difference, is a guy like Greg Bell. Not every city had that. And that really did make the uh, whole Albany music scene, particularly the jam band scene, flourish. He always seemed to be more fucked up than we were. I have to like take him home and it's 4.30 in the morning, but he has to be at school at eight o'clock. <laughs> I was doing shows and going home at three in the morning and teaching at eight o'clock in the morning for like 17 years. I'd call him the next day and be like, did you make it to work? And he's like, yeah, no problem. Sometimes I just get that feeling. I can just, I look at a band, I see the way people are looking at them and how they're reacting, and I just know that these guys are going someplace. He still is in touch with all the kids that go to the shows, so he still promotes at the ground level for kids to go to the shows. That's why people show up at the shows. So, like, as far as I'm concerned, Greg Bell is the Albany Music Center. Grappling Get that motherfucker, I'm gonna throw it right in the fire. So from then on, no drum circles allowed, no drums at Bellstock. See a drum, burn a drum. And the other rule was, no assholes, unless they're friends of mine.